Multiplying whole numbers and fractions. As you can see, number one, you have a whole number times a fraction, and you can simply multiply this whole number by the numerator. So you have 20 times 1 is 20 over what the denominator 4. So you multiply the whole number by the numerator. Very important, you multiply the whole number by the numerator. Okay, so 20 multiplied by 1 is 20 over 4. And of course, 4 into 20, you reduce that. 4 into 20 is 5. 5, that's your answer. Now, you have a next one here, 3 fifths of 30. Of means that you have to multiply. Okay, of, in this case, you have to multiply. So, 3 fifths of 30 is 30. I express it as a fraction, 30 over 1 times 3 fifths. You can have the 3 fifths plus times 30, it doesn't matter. It comes into the same thing actually. Now, in working this out, you have, we're going to cancel. I can multiply the 30 times the 3 and then divide it by 5, but I choose to do it a different way. I choose to do it in the process of cancellation, the cancellation process. So, 3 fifths of 30 is 3 fifths times 30. 5 into 5 into 5, 1, yes, and 5 into 30, that's 6, okay? And then we, of course, don't have any more cancellation to do, so we simply multiply the whole number, that's 6, by the numerator. Well, 6 over 1, okay? 6, that's, that's, that, that's a numerator, actually, for 6 over 1. We multiply the 6 times the 3. So 6 times 3 is actually 18. And it's 18 over 1. And 18 over 1 is a fraction. As a whole number, it, it is 18. So your answer is equal to 18. 3 times 6 is equal to 18. So you can see that you can do this two ways. Whereby you can just multiply the this by that. And divide it you don't have any you have only one there or you can use the cancellation process which I have done